Tell me everything you know about that, sir. <laughs> what those two is a step up from what those one? How much better is it? In Watch Dogs 2, you play as Marcus, a black protagonist who has teamed up with three other dead set members, Satara, who brands and does visual design, the mascot of Grinch, an engineer and a guy who loves gadgets, and Josh, a coded master. Eventually, you end up having Raymond, aka T-Bow, form from Watch Dogs 1 join. Uh, Marcus is similar to Aiden from Watch Dogs 1 as he has the whole city to hack. You are now in San Francisco, Vice, Chicago, and can hack cars, lights, doors, other phones, and even robots, plus more. You have a remote control car that you can control and go through vents and hack into systems and doors. You also have a flying drone that you can use to spot enemies in an area to make it easier to navigate and spot them even through walls. As far as weapons, you have a 3D printer that you can print. Um, you can print weapons including stun pistols, shotguns, assault rifles, handguns, SMGs, and paint for all the guns. All of this is at the DeadSec headquarters. You also have a remote grenade that you can hack and use like C4. Watch Dogs 2 is not as serious as the first one, which is a welcome change of character. Found Aiden to be too serious and very boring. Mark is, is very, very much more charismatic and some of the jokes that are made between him and his crew are pretty funny. The mission design is a lot better and you spend a lot of time planning on when to melee someone or shock them to put them to sleep. I found myself trying to rush through a mission to only find myself being detected from the enemy and reinforcements being called to the area. This can be a pain as you will now have to face the enemies in front of you while also watching your back for reinforcements, but that level of difficulty is what I love about this game. The things I like about this game are the characters in the game who are very engaging and it seems to be a Robin Hood story, except you are hacking trying to get the truth to the public about Bloom. This almost feels like a GTA or a Mafia game because every mission and news TV screen pops up and gives you new information on how you have changed the views of the public and fast throughout the game. Even the radio talks about the current events. How many whole city in your fingertips is a welcome change. The radio channels are also good and I also I caught myself a few times trying to listen to the music while driving and crashing because I was so invested in the music. I also like calling the cops to arrest a guard or send the police or rival gang to a particular guard to shoot as you watch them be distracted with each other and you stuff your way around in all the chaos. Things I really kind of hate about this game is the game would have been better if you could go full stuff throughout the game. The map did not the map design was just not used for that purpose. Sure, you could stealth kill half the enemies before going loud, but you should be rewarded rewarded for being stealthy much like the designer does. Having an alter ending will have worked for that. Yeah. It was very easy for an enemy to spot you in places you know you were hidden. Some areas that you knew are meant to climb up will not let you climb up. Instead, you are forced to find another way around the map. The driving is also pretty bad. Every time I tried to drift around the corner, my car would just come to a complete stop after holding the brake for one second. In conclusion, I didn't notice any terrible frame rate issues or me falling through the map just like previous Ubisoft games. I mean, even I'm surprised my face even showed throughout the game. The, claim, the gameplay was very good and, and makes you wonder if this would be the last Watch Dogs game because of how it ended. It's a very good looking game. The voice actor was a lot better than Watch Dogs 2. The game was optimized from the time I played it, which is why I give this game an 8.5 out of 10. You should see me right about now. What am I looking? Holy shit, that's no moon. Is that your drone? Surprise. Custom built for us. Marcus, where are you? You need to hook up the server to the drone. Drone? Wait, never mind. Fuck it. Be right there. Oh, God. 
Oh, oh shit. Sama, fuck it down. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Oh. What? Fuck. Hey, yo, Josh, man. How many times have you flown this thing? <laughs> 